a, a place of worship. You get a palace where you build in paradise. You feed the orphans, you get to be close on higher, uh, closer to the Lord on the day of, of resurrection. You see how this bounty equals, uh, these good works equals more bounty? That's what we're striving to do more and more and more and more. And obviously, because even we do believe, and this is something that really the Christians are like, kind of uh, obvious on, you guys say you have been saved, you have been saved, you have no sins remaining for you. Right? We say, no, no, no. Even you having the understanding that you have a creator, you having the understanding that you need to worship him, you don't have the understanding that you have a moral compass, what's right and wrong, and you abide by the rule, by the rules. If you do something small, for example, steal something, or, or in any way, from cost to your parents, you accumulate bad deeds. Those bad deeds, because you are harming other people, not necessarily God, you'll never harm God. You're harming other people, there must be some retribution for that. Hold on. So, let, 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 let me just uh, hold you on that thought. When David said, when David committed adultery, and he said, You alone, Lord, have I sinned against. So he's acknowledging that all sin that we, if I sin against you, brother, and you sin against me, yes, you're doing that. You're sinning against the God who created you, most of all. Yeah? Do we, do we agree on that? Not that every sin though. that we commit right. is a sin, sin against the majesty of the Lord. I, 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 okay, you can say to the majesty of the Lord, but not to God. the Lord himself. Well, yes, God is, we offend God with our sins. Right, but I'm, I'm very careful with the terms. For example, if you say, if you say, you as a person are property as God, right? Right? And I sin against you, then I'm sinning against the property of the Lord. Right? Isn't it? Against his property. Yeah. Against his property, yeah. right? Isn't it? So, so from that angle, I totally agree with you. But for example, let's say this, yeah? I um, do something totally horrific. I I, I, I murder uh, uh, the youngest child of, of, of my mom. Obviously, I go and I ask after, I don't know what happened to me. I came to my senses. I want to repent. So I said, please, Lord, forgive me. Is that enough for me? Obviously, no, I, I took yeah. away from this lady something so precious. I harmed her to the poor. Yes. So it would be injustice for me not to have some sort of a retribution for of that. Course. Right? So you, or, you, 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 you can be punished under man's law in this life. But you can be forgiven under God. Yes, we, 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 have, we have a system for that as well. We have a system. So we say basically, you have punishments, as you said, a man may, no, not a man, uh, a, 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 a system has been sent out by the Almighty, which we can cover ourselves with, right? Which equals to the closest form of is justice. That, is, that the, is that Sharia? That's Sharia law. So, even Sharia law is very, very, very misunderstood. For example, most people ever ask me, do you know Sharia law? They say, carve the hands, stoning people to death, and um, yeah, killing people. That's it. But those things we call the Qudu, the Qudu is actually it means the, up, the most highest form of punishment. Literally, you can't go on beyond that. But then, obviously, everyone has a lawyer, and the lawyer brings doubt into the matter, as the Prophet Muhammad said, bring doubt into the matter so the punishment can be reduced. If you just look at Islamic history and how peaceful, peaceful the society necessarily were, you can see that the system from God is actually working in a society and it can resolve so many of the issues that we have going on today. But that's actually beside our point. I wanted to talk about morals in a sense. Morals. Where do you get morals from? I think you get morals from God. I'm 100% sure of that. Because everyone all totally agrees we have some points, uh, some, some, some major things we can all agree upon that are bad. Hitting someone, hurting them, stealing from them, rape, killing, uh, name a couple. We all, no one will tell you, oh, you know, that's fine. If they're sane, isn't it? Isn't it? If they're sane, so I think that's a moral compass given to you from the get-go by the Creator, so you at least have some sort of balance, right? And the opposite of that is greed that we all have, right? We want to have the best situation, we want to have the best car, best lifestyle, all that, all that, all that, all that. So those two things, we need to balance it out, and that's our moral compass, right? But I'm saying, if you and I agree that not sin is sin, you have major sins, you have some sort of minor sins, which are still significant, don't get me wrong, then how could it be possible that the prophets who are supposed to give us the best form of, 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 of how do I say this? The best example of existence. The day you commit the most atrocious deeds, killing, killing your mate just to sleep with his wife. Your daughters, you have daughters that feed you alcohol up until the moment that they'll make you drunk and commit adultery with them twice. It's not his mistake, but it's their mistake. But even though you could say the first time you should have realized, why did he go ahead for the second time with it? Right? Besides that, then I can go on and on and on and on and on about, about, about certain things I just don't understand. I literally don't understand. And at some point, at some point, at some point, I think it's Solomon or David, he's actually fighting God. He's actually fighting God. I don't get this. How am I supposed to live up to these people? I'm going to say that's a prophet. Because we're, God uses broken vessels to praise his word. He chooses to make great the simple things, to confound the wise. 
He chooses his, he, in his plan. It's foolish to the world. But so he saying, exalts the simple. So you're saying God's plan is foolish to the world? The gospel is foolish to the world. Yes, yeah. The gospel, the gospel it says yeah. to the Jews a stumbling block, to the Greeks foolishness. Worldly logic clashes with the gospel. The gospel says you can only be saved by grace through faith alone. By, by faith alone. Sorry. Right, right. 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 So to the unbeliever. It doesn't make sense. But to you are, it does. Yes, because you need to repent before you can believe. It says, the fear of the Lord is the start of all knowledge. Until you have a fear of the Lord, if you have repented, then you can be able to So what happens to you? No, God saves you. God saves you. Until, until God saves you. Sir, are we talking about saviour in the sense of that the Lord is inspiring you? Or are we talking about the saviour that whatever mistake you commit afterwards, you will be forgiven for it? Because if you say the second, then how does that apply to you? What's your saying? You're saved from all past sins and all future sins. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, if I look at the creation of God, literally just observe the trees, how the, uh, the human body works, right? Just a bit of biology. Forget astrophysics and all of the other stuff, right? And even uh, technology these days. The system in there is mind-boggling. It makes sense up to the point that you go, wow, there's nothing in your body that doesn't have a purpose. Right? Right? So if I look at that, and then if I look at the message that you claim is the word of God, it doesn't add up. I don't find the same simplicity and the same understanding and the same wow in it. Basically, so, I'm so basically you're, people. you're saying because you don't like it. I don't like you're, it. Of your, of your, I don't like it. Your opinion. Your, I'm not even talking about your, your yeah, yeah, yeah. that. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're yeah. saying that doesn't fit with how you think yeah, yeah, God's work. So therefore, I think it's I think I think it's not the thing to call this the work of God but for a couple says, of reasons. Couple of reasons. Number one, the book, the way it's been written down, is not any way more, um, you could say, um, special than anyone else writing a similar book. Really? What about really? What, what about prophecies? Yeah. What prophecies then? How can I verify those prophecies? Because even if you just write down prophecies, I can write a whole book of prophecies. How can you verify them? By by seeing the past, they come to it. Yeah, but then again, I don't, I don't live in the past, so I can't see it. I can't verify. No, 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 no. We have the past, so we can. We, we, we have history that we can draw from. Even in history, history is one of the. If you study history necessarily at the university, you'll come to the conclusion that history is one of the most difficult things to prove. So how do you know the Quran? Ah, okay. Now there is a system for it. They bought a system for to record history and to make sure that this. Uh, you could say chain of, 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 of documentary of this specific historical event has been proved by at least knowing who told it from who to 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 who I, for me, I, 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 I'm Dutch in it. So I'm from Holland, so I can't, sometimes I can't find the English words I'm looking for. In it. Um, they did a detailed background check, you could say, on everyone who claimed to have heard something from someone, but making sure that they all were sane, that they all even had lived in the same time, so at least their stories add up. They need to have a couple of different sources so they know that it's just not some simple conspiracy. You see, so it's a conspiracy group. They did a standing background search on everyone who did it, and they have a, 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 a recording of every specific event of who told it from who, who lived where. Sorry, it's, it's a great game to you. Maybe another Sunday, but uh, Maybe. Yeah, God bless you. I guess we, we have to go soon. Yeah. All right then. Enjoy yeah. yourself.